Elon Musk once said that EV battery technology will never stop evolving. In the future, we'll see tons of new battery types designed to make EVs more efficient, charge faster, and cost way less than today's lithium-ion batteries. He even admitted that Tesla's 4680 battery is a solid option, but definitely not the best, because there's a battery that could blow the 4680 out of the water, and most EV automakers are chasing after it. Yeah, we're talking about solid-state batteries. These things have the potential to give EVs a range of up to 1,000 miles on a single charge and are almost immune to fire risks. Toyota is so confident in this tech that they believe they'll be the first to bring it to market. And they're betting that solid-state batteries will help them reclaim the spotlight from Tesla and other competitors. To put it simply, solid-state batteries could be the ultimate game-changer in the EV race. So, what makes Toyota so confident? What's so special about solid-state batteries? And is Elon Musk falling behind on this tech? We're about to find out. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Now, we don't know if you've heard of the term solid-state battery before. But, if you're into EVs or EV batteries, chances are you've come across it. It's not exactly a brand new technology, but we're willing to bet that not many people actually know what it's all about. So, how is it different from lithium-ion batteries? Well, at the core, solid-state batteries are still lithium-based. They still use lithium and don't ditch it completely. So in that sense, they're pretty similar to the batteries used in today's electric and hybrid vehicles. But, the big difference is this solid-state batteries use a completely solid electrolyte, instead of the liquid or gel-type electrolytes found in regular lithium-ion batteries. To put it simply, think of the electrolyte as the layer in the middle of the battery. Picture a sandwich, one has sauce in the middle, the other has solid meat. Yeah, one's liquid, the other's solid. That's pretty much the difference here. We don't think it's hard to understand, but there is a truth you need to know. Liquid or gel electrolytes don't really offer any clear advantage over solid electrolytes. If anything, the only reason liquid ones are still so widely used is because the industry is just more familiar with them and already has the tech and infrastructure built around that setup. But here's the thing. Just because something is familiar doesn't mean it's better. Liquid electrolytes have been around longer, sure, but if they were truly superior, we wouldn't be seeing this massive push to develop solid-state batteries. Innovation exists for a reason, to improve on the old, and that's exactly why more and more manufacturers are shifting towards solid-state electrolytes. It's not just a trend, it's a full-blown movement backed by serious investment and research. And no, this isn't some overhyped idea floating around on the internet. This shift is supported by real science. Multiple labs, PhDs, and research teams around the globe have studied solid-state tech again and again with results to back it up. Just look at Toyota. They hold over 8,200 patents related to solid-state batteries and were the first automaker bold enough to publish insane performance specs, nearly 1,000 miles, on a single charge. That's us not marketing fluff. That's a statement. Now, what most people don't realize is that Toyota actually started working on solid-state batteries way back in 2010. Yeah, they were one of the pioneers. Even then, they tested and revealed a prototype capable of driving over 621 miles, or 1,000 kilometers, on one charge. And guess what? That's still impressive today. But they didn't stop there. Toyota kept refining the battery materials, pushing that range even further to around 745 miles or 1,200 kilometers. That's a number big enough to make the entire EV industry sit up and pay attention. And now, Toyota claims that with their most advanced version, they'll hit close to 1,000 miles. That's nearly three times the range of many electric vehicles on the market today. Now you might be thinking, come on, is this for real? Maybe it sounds exaggerated or like Toyota is bluffing to throw off the competition. But let's be honest, solid-state batteries have real advantages in their structure and chemistry. And even if Toyota weren't making these bold claims, another company would, because the energy density is just that much better. How does the energy density of solid-state batteries change the game? Energy density is a measure of how much energy a battery can store relative to its size or weight. The higher the energy density, the more energy can be packed into a given volume or mass. This translates directly into longer driving ranges and lighter vehicles. While lithium-ion batteries with traditional liquid electrolytes have long been considered the gold standard, they often face a trade-off. You can have either faster charging or higher energy density, but not both. 
That's exactly where solid-state batteries come in. They're engineered to deliver both at once. To achieve a driving range of 1,000 miles, a battery must have significantly higher energy density than today's standard lithium-ion cells with liquid electrolytes. For instance, Tesla's 4680 cells have an energy density of about 272 watt-hours per kilogram. In a 123 kilowatt hour pack, they give the Cybertruck a minimum range of 325 miles and potentially up to 400 miles in the lighter Model Y. By contrast, Toyota's solid state batteries are projected to reach around 600 watt hours per kilogram. That's more than double the energy density, enabling a smaller, lighter battery pack that delivers far greater range. This marks a true breakthrough in EV technology, one that reduces vehicle weight and boosts performance. It's precisely the kind of innovation Elon Musk has been pursuing for years. Instead of using a liquid electrolyte and separator like conventional lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries typically rely on solid electrolytes made from oxides or sulfides to conduct electricity. These materials offer greater chemical stability and better ionic conductivity compared to the organic solvents and lithium salts used in liquid or gel-based electrolytes. That difference allows solid-state batteries to generate more energy from the same volume or weight. One of the most noticeable advantages of high-energy, density, solid-state technology is dramatically reduced charging frequency. With much longer range per charge, drivers save both time and operational costs. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a fundamental shift in the EV ownership experience. But it doesn't stop there. High energy density also means these batteries can deliver more voltage and current, which boosts overall performance. EVs using this kind of battery can accelerate faster, respond more smoothly, and hit higher top speeds. Just imagine combining this tech with the 48-volt electrical system Tesla's working on. It'd be a game-changing blend of efficiency and raw power. Right now, Toyota's leading the race in solid-state battery development. They filed over 1,000 patents and are investing $18.7 billion to bring this tech to market. It's no coincidence that the world's biggest automaker is betting big on this future. Toyota claims their solid-state battery could double the driving range compared to traditional batteries and fully charge in just 10 minutes. That's on par with the fastest LFP cells from cattle. Charging times for EVs have definitely come a long way, from several hours down to just tens of minutes thanks to new generations of tech. But let's be real. When you compare that to filling up a gas tank in just a few minutes, waiting even 30 minutes still feels like a major inconvenience for a lot of people. Take Tesla's advanced 4680 battery, for example. It still takes around 35 to 40 minutes to go from 10% to 80%. Sure, Cattle has already launched some non-solid state batteries that can charge in 10 minutes or less, with most of them supporting 4C charging. But the catch? Their energy density isn't exactly mind-blowing, typically between 165 watt-hours per kilogram and 230 watt-hours per kilogram. The truth is, most drivers don't want to sit around for half an hour just to refuel their car. So, faster charging isn't just a tech issue. It's the key to shifting how people see and adopt EVs. This isn't just hype. QuantumScape's solid-state battery tech has actually shown it can charge to 80% in just 15 minutes in real-world conditions, thanks to its breakthrough in eliminating the lithium diffusion bottleneck in the anode's host material. But Toyota? They're making an even bolder claim. Their solid-state battery could charge from 0 to 100% in just 10 minutes using advanced electrode materials. That's basically saying you could take a 10-minute nap in your car and wake up to nearly 1,000 miles of driving range. Sounds hard to believe, right? Yeah, we're skeptical too, especially since it hasn't been installed in a real EV yet or gone through public testing. Still, the potential for ultra-fast charging solid-state batteries is becoming harder and harder to deny. Like we mentioned earlier, solid-state batteries use solid electrolytes. These can be made from metal oxides, metal sulfides, or solid polymers. Sulfide-based electrolytes, for instance, benefit from sulfur's softness, which makes it easier for lithium ions to flow through. That smoother, faster ion movement translates into faster charging. Oxide-based electrolytes, on the other hand, can withstand higher voltages. That means they can push more ions through the electrolyte layer, increasing charging speed and energy density. Plus, 
Some studies suggest that solid-state batteries can be charged up to five times more throughout their lifespan compared to standard lithium-ion batteries, boosting their longevity. It's worth noting that while traditional liquid electrolytes degrade under high heat, the solid electrolytes used in Toyota's design actually perform better at elevated temperatures. And since fast charging generates a lot of heat, this gives them a big edge in real-world performance. The common advantage across all solid electrolytes is high ionic conductivity. Basically, lithium ions can move faster, which speeds up the entire charging process. That means you could reach 80% charge in a short time with less wear and tear on the battery compared to lithium ion tech. Of course, that depends on a bunch of technical factors. So yeah, the theory looks great on paper. But will it all play out smoothly once it's inside an actual EV? That's the big question. We're not saying Toyota's 10-minute solid-state charging goal is easy, but we're not ruling it out either. Time will tell. At the start of the video, we mentioned that this type of battery is almost non-flammable, but does that mean it's completely safe? If you search for safest battery types, we're pretty confident solid-state batteries will show up at the top of every list. That's because they use solid electrolytes instead of the flammable liquid electrolytes found in traditional lithium-ion batteries. This key difference gives them a major edge in terms of safety. In a crash or accident, lithium-ion batteries can leak, deform, or even catch fire because the liquid electrolyte reacts aggressively with air and heat. Solid-state batteries eliminate that risk by removing the flammable liquid entirely, which significantly lowers the chance of fires or explosions, even in severe collisions. As these batteries become more common in EVs, they could finally put to rest the fear that EVs are ticking time bombs. But it's not just about safety. Solid-state batteries also perform more reliably under extreme conditions. Since they don't contain volatile substances, they hold up better in high heat. And unlike lithium-ion batteries, which often struggle or fail in cold weather due to electrolyte freezing, solid-state batteries aren't affected by low temperatures. That means they can deliver consistent performance all year round. Another major win, sustainability. Solid-state batteries typically use fewer rare or toxic materials, like cobalt and nickel, which reduces pressure on mining and helps the environment. They also last longer and have lower self-discharge rates, meaning fewer replacements and less industrial waste. Toyota even estimates their solid-state battery could last up to a million miles without significant degradation. So yeah, Solid-state batteries really do tick a lot of boxes for EV automakers. High energy density, fast charging, and outstanding safety. But let's be real. No technology is perfect, and solid-state batteries are no exception. Despite the hype and huge potential, there are still plenty of technical hurdles left to clear before they're ready for prime time. So, why are solid-state batteries still facing so many challenges? When you look at why such a promising technology like solid-state batteries still isn't widely available, despite over a decade of research and development, it's clear there are some real hurdles. The first big one, production cost. Researchers openly admit that right now, solid-state batteries just can't compete with lithium-ion in terms of cost. From what we've learned, the materials used in solid-state batteries are super expensive. Take lithium sulfide, for example. It's a top contender for solid electrolytes but it can cost five to 10 times more than lithium carbonate. And that's not even counting ceramic electrolytes and the strict purity requirements involved. These factors make the manufacturing process way more complex and expensive than current battery technologies. To bring solid state batteries to market, companies can't just solve performance issues. They basically need to rebuild the whole battery production ecosystem from scratch. Toyota once said they could cut the cost of solid-state batteries by 50%, but let's be clear, that doesn't mean they'll be half the price of today's lithium-ion batteries. It just means they'll be half the cost of what Toyota originally projected internally. A lot of the public info out there claims solid-state batteries are easier to make than ones with liquid electrolytes, which gives people the false impression that this tech is surprisingly cheap. But the reality is the exact opposite. Manufacturing solid-state batteries requires super strict conditions, like dry environments and absolute humidity control, which drive up assembly costs big time. Second, mass production is still a big hurdle. Making a thin, uniform, defect-free solid electrolyte layer is no small feat. 
it's a major technical challenge. Even big players like Toyota and QuantumScape have only seen promising results at the experimental stage. There's still no stable, large-scale manufacturing process in place. Any assembly errors can hurt performance or even pose safety risks to the devices using these batteries. Third, current solid-state batteries still don't have the durability people expect. Some prototypes only last around 1,000 charge cycles, while commercial products need to last several thousand. Plus, there's the issue of dendrites, lithium crystals that can grow through the solid electrolyte and cause short circuits. While solid-state batteries are often considered safer, this is still a real concern, especially when using lithium metal anodes. Lastly, material compatibility is another big obstacle. Not all existing cathode materials work well with solid electrolytes. That means companies may need to redesign electrodes or search for entirely new materials, which not only adds to development time, but also drives up costs. Even though solid-state batteries have huge potential, they still face major challenges in terms of technology, cost, and manufacturability before they can realistically replace lithium-ion batteries in consumer products and EVs. With the promise of higher energy density, improved safety, and faster charging, solid-state batteries are seen as the next big leap beyond traditional lithium-ion technology. But let's be clear, they still face a long list of technical challenges, from choosing the right materials and ensuring compatibility between components, to developing a stable, scalable manufacturing process. That said, there's still a lot of optimism. R&D efforts around solid-state batteries are moving full steam ahead worldwide, especially driven by the electric vehicle industry. Every major EV automaker is on the hunt for a safer battery that offers longer range and better longevity for the next generation of electric cars. Recent breakthroughs from major players like Toyota, QuantumScape, and Solid Power suggest there's real substance behind the long-term promise of solid-state batteries. Still, it's interesting to note that while many automakers are pouring money into this tech, Elon Musk and Tesla haven't jumped in aggressively. At least not yet. That might be a strategic gamble. If solid-state batteries do break through, Tesla could risk falling behind. But if the tech fails to deliver or gets delayed, Musk will look smart for avoiding a massive investment. Either way, the success or failure of solid-state batteries in the next decade could have a major impact on Tesla's leadership in the EV space. To truly reach, can refer. Commercialization, though, solid-state battery technology will have to do more than just overcome technical hurdles. It also needs to prove it can compete on cost, energy efficiency, and power density against current lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolytes. Ultimately, the future of solid-state batteries hinges on finding the right balance between performance and economic viability, that's the key to winning a place in the global market.